Mm. So, what country are you originally from? I'm originally from El Salvador. Um, why did you leave El Salvador? Because, uh, you know, when, uh, when I went to school, we have a word. And um, it was a lot of danger over there. I mean, I can live in our country, especially when we go to school. Yeah. When did you leave and how old were you at the time? Uh, when I have uh, 16 years old, I had to leave El Salvador. Uh, what were the conditions in your country when you left? Uh, the condition was, uh, I say, it's still danger because I have a lot of games over there. Uh, there's a lot of um, n people go to school, but they don't have opportunity to do anything. And you know, um, I when I came here, I went to school too. I back to school. I finished my high school. And then I went uh, three years of college. Even when I was a mother already, because I was a mother very early, but um, you know, I went to school and I finished. How did you prepare for your trip here? Completely none. <laughs> <laughs> you just came? Uh, because you know, um, some my father was a doctor and my grandfather have a parent have a, a pharmacy. And, but somebody killed my father. Oh. And um, my parents so said they be sad all the time. Oh. And then, you know, uh, my mother have a, a boyfriend. And then I live with my grandparents for most of the time, not with my mother. And um, I never think about came to the United States in my life. You just did? I just... One day somebody told me if we, if we, I want to come, I said I want to go. <laughs> but I never I never think about it that one that I can be stay for thirty three years <laughs> that I have living in the United States already. Wow. Um, did you leave any family behind? Yes, I leave my mother, my sister, all my family is still in El Salvador. Only me live here. My family that I have is the one I make it. But the rest of my family is in there. Did you leave like any physical things behind or did you take all your stuff with you? I don't take anything. Only the clothes what I wear when I came. How did you get here? Did you stay somewhere else before you came here? Well, I, I live in Mexico for two years working because we don't have money to cross the board. And uh, for across the board, they charge us two hundred and fifty dollars. And when I crossed the board, I never, I, I never thought what danger was. They put me in the trunk of the car with about forty people. Oh. When I get off to the car, I remember that I, they, we passed the board, and we're in the United States. And I looking around and I said, "This is the United States." Oh my God. <laughs> I never thought my life, and I have to run. I said, "Why do I have to run?" They said, "Because immigration come." I said, "What? And where did I go? I don't have no place to go." They said, "Hide in the bushes." Where the bushes? <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. You know, it was a very um, danger. But at the, at the same time, when when I was younger, I never thinking about it. You know, does something happen to me? I run in the bellway with everybody else. And I told my friend, I said, how can we hiding in the bushes? What do you hear? Who pick up us? I said, stay right here, stay right here. Somebody pick up us. When late night, somebody pick up us. We get another trunk. Like, we, we drew, they drove about for an hour and a half. And then we went to the house. They feed us. They give him clothes to chain. And by the time my parents doesn't know what I am. Oh. <laughs> it, it was a tri it was a long trip. My parents didn't know where I am after six months. And my mother said, why well, you don't come back home? But I, I still make life here. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were your hopes for yourself when you came here? 
um, you know, I hope if my parents came back, come here. But um, by the time after the past four years, my mother married again, and my father passed away. And uh, my sister, no one's come want to come because I I explained I explained that how difficult it was for me to cross the board and how dangerous it was. And I say I never thought you know I never recommend to no one. Get in the train for three hours, hiding in the bathroom, and you know you never know it's so scary. <laughs> By the time you know it was uh, I was younger anyway. Some people they never passed the experience. They never know. Was it difficult to learn English? It wasn't too much difficult because when I went to high school in my country. I received English class. I could I understood a lot when I came here, but I couldn't speak. Because you know we don't practice English in our country. But now everybody speaks English in my country. A lot of people speak English. And I say, Oh my god, it's a lot of Americans live over there. Oh, I didn't think yeah. They do surf surf, you know? Oh. at the beach. A lot of people. I never thought I went to back to my country ten years. No, 12 years after living here, when I get my green car, it has a lot of Americans. Oh. Hmm? What are you the most proud of doing? You know, um, when I work with the Department of Health and Human Service, for, I worked for six years with them. That I helping people to, with food stamp, the medical system, and I support them with all the people. They have eviction. They throw out their stuff and, st and they need money for rent, for the homeless. I help the homeless to find a house, place, uh, shelters, uh, the place able to make them sleep. I'm so happy to do all this stuff. And I feel proud of myself because, you know, when you help others, you feel like you have it. Even you don't have anything. Life is like that. It's nice. <laughs> Did you think? Yeah. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sure. <laughs>